OK, so I've only just found out about this other method for polynomial division today. And I thought I'd share it uh, alongside the other three methods. So we've had the uh, grid method, the long division method. We've had the inspection method. And now this, no, uh, this other one that is known as synthetic division. Um, you can certainly come across more examples of this if you Google synthetic division. Um, but it is very much uh, an algorithmic way of doing it. It can be quite quick, but um, it has its limitations. So you would only be able to use this form of polynomial division if you were dividing by a linear factor, for example. But if all else fails and you've forgotten everything else, then maybe this could be a backup. OK? So... The way that it works is that we write down the coefficients of the x cubed plus 5x squared plus 16x plus 20 um, in uh, like a grid. Uh, we put it in this kind of L shape. And we're going to have 1, 5, 16, and 20. OK? And then we're going to be dividing by x plus 2, OK? Now, much like you would for the factor theorem, you would change um, to looking at minus 2 when you substitute in. So we work with minus 2. Now, the first step in using the synthetic division method is to bring this number down to the front, OK? So we bring the 1 down. So if it was a 2, we'd bring down 2, for example. What we then do is we do minus 2 times 1, and we place it here, and then we add these two numbers together. So we would get 3. We then do minus 2 times 3, that gets us minus 6. Add them together, we get 10. Minus 2 times 10 is minus 20. Add them together, we get 0. And so what we have at the end we have that x plus 2 must be a factor because we've got 0 there, 0 remainder. So that means that what we have is that this cubic divided by x plus 2 is x squared plus 3x plus 10. And that's synthetic division. It will appear like magic, OK? Um, but as I said, it is very much an algorithmic way of doing uh, polynomial division, and you could potentially use it as a backup plan if all else fails.